Hey, this is Gabriel. I'm out here with uh, Barry, Clay, and Bruce, and we're out here doing some really cool testing. I, I've, I've uh, heard some people asking what's the next big game changer, and I think we have it right here tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to attempt to fly a 3D map at night. So if this, this were, is going to be a mock accident scene, and we're going to use SkyBrows. Um, SkyBrows says that you, we can take a now 3D map a night accident scene. So we're going to try to make that happen. Real quick before we get started, I want to take you over here and show you. Um, some of y'all heard of Fox Fury. If you hadn't, haven't, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more testing videos on this. Uh, this is their Nomad 360. Uh, these things are incredible, and these are kind of the, the key, the marrying up of the technologies between SkyBrows and Fox Fury to illuminate a whole scene. Now, we have four of these Nomad 360s out here, and these things, in case you haven't noticed, these things are not plugged in. Uh, they run on batteries, and they run for quite a long time. Uh, they can illuminate 360. We're gonna talk more about that later, but that's what we're illuminating the scene with. So again, once we, once we combine the Fox Fury lights with the SkyBrez technology, we're gonna see if we can actually do a 3D map. Now, this will be, um, like the other SkyBrows, this will be a multi-part video because, you know, it takes takes you know not very long, maybe about maybe about a half hour to um, upload the video and process it to where you can start taking measurements. Um, and so, by the way, I hope y'all are all doing good with uh, the whole Corona thing or whatever. But we're uh, we're still testing, we're still innovating. Technology goes on, and um, you know, crime uh, crime scenes and traffic accidents and everything don't stop. So. Um, I believe Clay, Clay, are you going to be doing the piloting on this or? Yep. Okay. And to fly this, just so I know this will be a, a question that's asked, to fly this, we are using the, um, the DJI uh, Mavic 2. All right. Let's see if I can get clear here. All right, let's see if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to get you in here or not, but I'm gonna try. I don't know if this will focus or not. 40 feet? Where you can see this in action. I think we got it there. What you may not be able to see is right down here. There we go. So right down there he's got just a couple buttons. This is the easiest 3D mapping on the planet. And you'll see that's all clay has to do. So there you can see what it looks like, what the scene looks like, illuminated by those Fox Fury Nomad 360s. Again, those things are crazy. Um, you'll see lots of other videos on those. We've been uh, testing them and actually, quite frankly, abusing them. You don't have to have a generator. And you can see it lights it up really good. They're obviously quiet. Yeah. Quiet, no generators, exactly. So there's SkyBrows doing its thing. I think, uh, Clay, did you do the two pass on it, I guess? Yes. And this one is called Night Ops, right? Large two pass. Large night two ops. pass Night Ops. For those of you that are, are um, experienced SkyBrows user, this is called a, uh, this is the two pass Night Ops large area. Not the wide brows, the wide brows can do the really wide area. This is the still a sky brows. There, what's your altitude? I'm at 71.
So what we're going to do here, as soon as this thing is done, um, you'll see it, it'll automatically, well, it, it'll prompt Clay uh, to upload it. And of course, he'll say yes, and he'll start that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video, and then uh, whenever it, once it's done uploading, it takes it about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, is my experience, just uploading it straight from your cell phone, or if you have a Wi-Fi hotspot or something like that. A uh, pretty short amount of time and actually i think it's only about 10 minutes i think it's I think it's another 10 minutes before you can actually edit it so anyway within a half hour we'll be able to take measurements and see what this thing looks like but uh, i'll bring the video back in there it is i'll bring the video back in and um, we'll we'll look and see what the actual 3d map looks like all right so we're back the video is uploaded and the model is generated and this is the sky browse desktop i'm logged into uh, these would be different incidents. In this case, it's different tests that we've done. And of course, this one right here is the one that we're interested in. That was the night op. So let's go, let's go ahead and load that one up. And there it is. All right. So the first thing that uh, I want to do is kind of bring this in over here and just take a look at it from the top view down. And the reason is I want to kind of show you how good that those Fox Fury th Nomad 360 lights lit up this scene. Now this was taken out in a rural area and the it was dark, uh, one of those pretty dark areas out in the middle. No, we got the uh, darkest area we could find in, around us. And this parking lot that we're in is pitch black. Now um, we have four Nomad 360s, one on each corner. And then this is all a Nomad now that we're using for setup. We just set that down there too. And uh, that's also a fantastic light. You can check that one out. But look at how good those Nomad 360s lit this up. Uh, again, no generators or anything like that. It just takes a few seconds to pop them up and there they are. And you can see now, the other thing I want you to notice about this test that we did, we didn't make it easy on any of this. We put two black vehicles out there. Um, you know, we didn't use white or fluorescent orange or red or anything like that. We had something that was going to reflect the least amount of light, uh, but you can see it still did a really good job. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what this thing turned out. All right. So, wow. So look at that. Now this is, this is not a picture. That's a 3d model y'all. That's crazy. Hey, look at the, look at the stooges over here on the right. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, so let's see if we got in here and got down on the ground, we can still see all the detail. Um, you can see the rail on my truck. You can see the, the step rail there on the Tahoe. You can see the grill on my truck. You can see the emblem, the lights. Um, let's kind of do a 360 around this whole model here real quick and just see, if there's any uh, pieces missing, you know, we've done, tried doing 3D modeling with other software at night and under artificial light. It just didn't work out. You know, there was pieces missing, stuff you just couldn't see, you know, especially like this area between the vehicles. Um, so let's go all the way around this backside of Tahoe. I can see where the windshield wiper was there. I can see everything that I need to see all the way around 360 on this. So that's a fantastic job. I did notice as I was coming around here, I noticed in the back of my truck, I have a uh, blue generator you can see right there. I don't know how well the blue will show up on the camera, but I can see it blue. And then this is the receiver hitch that's getting a little bit of the light from those Nomad 360s. Um, so anyway, this is a fantastic model. Um, you know, one, one of the things you can do, you can't do on a model, you gotta, this isn't designed to be a tutorial. There's plenty of those out there, but I do wanna leave one measurement with in case you want to check it. So this is a 2013 Chevy Tahoe 2500 HD for reference. And I'm going to take a measurement between the two little white spots, which are my reverse lights on the tail lights. So I'm going to take and grab my measurement tool and see if my mouse is going to be happy here, here and there. All right. Five and a half feet. If you can get access to a 2013, 2500 HD and measure the inside between the inside between the taillights right there at the reverse lights, I bet you it's five and a half feet. So go ahead and check me on that, but I'd bet you anything that's right. Um, the other thing you could do if we needed to measure the distance between these bumpers, we want to know the distance between these two vehicles. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Now you can do area measurement and all that kind of stuff too. So this is three and a quarter feet, 
3.22 feet between the bumpers. Um, so that gives you measurements there. And you can just sit there and do measurements all day long. Um, again, this, it, the other thing I want to kind of look, I noticed whenever I was going around is you can actually see tire marks in the gravel. It's easier if you get up at an altitude up here, you can see the, the tire marks, or you can get all the way down here and look for little rocks and everything else. So um, uh, really cool. One other thing, again, this isn't a tutorial, but I do got to show this just because I'm just kind of in awe that they had this in SkyBrowse. They had this thing called a, uh, a clipping. And so you can take and put, let's just say that this is a, this isn't real accident, let's say for a minute. And I want to remove the front of my truck, uh, in order to maybe see more of that Tahoe. What I can do is let me uh, make my adjustments here real quick to this thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I have effectively removed the front of my truck and you can now look at whatever was here to kind of get it out of your way. Uh, and of course that's not destructive. It hasn't really done it. That's just a virtual removal of that part of my truck so that you can see maybe the front of this Tahoe and to get rid of it, I can just click that. And now it's all back. Um, I think that's absolutely fantastic. So anyway, um, I'm super impressed with this, <laughs> by the way, I do got to show you one thing. Now it's no secret that I hate cold weather and I do not wash my truck. Uh, my truck is gray this time of year because I just don't get out in the cold. You know, when it's 90, that truck will be shining, but right now it's, it's ugly. But Clay's Tahoe here, you can see how nice and deep black, it was all shiny, but <laughs> look at the top. Hey Clay, you forgot to wash the top of your Tahoe. <laughs> it's as dirty as my truck. That's actually kind of funny. I'm sorry. I'm humored by little things, but anyway. All right. Anyway, I wanted to get this, show this to y'all. This is uh, really impressive. I'm, I've been wanting, I've been hearing since 2015, Garrett, can we do 3D modeling of traffic accidents at night? That would help us so much. And unfortunately, my answer has been no until now. I can finally say, yes, you can do that. And it's also important to note that this is actually combined technologies. And I love that because now you have technologies working together to make something happen. Uh, you have the SkyBrowse 3D mapping software with the Night Ops. You have the Fox Fury Nomad 360 lights. And you have the, this was taken with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro for the drone. So those three technologies combined together finally gets what especially police have been asking for a long time. I do also know some, by the way, I also know some fire investigators that really want this for uh, capturing a, um, a, uh, fire for an investigation, maybe an arson or something like that. So this would be very good for that as well. Anyway, um, super pleased with this. Hopefully this was helpful to you and um, helps you uh, make a decision whether or not this is something you want to look at further or if it's right for your agency. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.